Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here again with another quick tip. And today we're talking about getting contrast without oversaturation. So let's dive right in. All right, cool. So I have some footage here and I'm going to start giving it some contrast and I'll kind of show you a common problem that might pop up. So I'm going to add a levels to our footage here and I'm going to start bringing up the brights and bring down the darks and just giving it a little bit of a color contrast. So if we kind of look at his face and even the jersey, we're getting that oversaturation that can sometimes happen when you try to crush your footage too much. And you might want the crush look, but not the oversaturation. So here's a quick fix for that. I already have the levels on there. I'm going to add a CC composite. Double click, add that. I'm going to change the composite mode over here to color. And so right away, we can kind of see that we're getting that contrast without the oversaturation. We're getting our original colors back on top of the footage. So if you wanted to from here, we could start adjusting this to, you know, sort of what we want. We can add an exposure effect if we want to kind of maybe brighten it up or, you know, offset the gamma here a little bit so I can bring the overall image back up a little bit. Maybe the gamma will kind of, you know, will bring it the darks down a little bit more. Uh, maybe we want to add a curves and give it some sort of look. So maybe I want to, you know, let's say boost up the blues. We'll bring up the blues and the blacks a little bit. And maybe overall we still want that desaturated look. So I'll add a hue and saturation. And I'll sort of bring down that. So there we go. So just like that, we kind of get that nice high con look without the oversaturation. So, and this is actually an effect I use a lot, whether it's color grading CG or footage, I like to get that high con look, you know, and kind of keep the colors where they need to be. So I have a preset for this. I'll make it available for free download, but let me show you kind of using the same tools. I have the contrast crush preset. And as soon as I drop it down, I'm already getting some adjustments on my footage here. So, you know, just real quickly, since everything's already open, you know, I can maybe adjust the contrast a little bit more. Let's, uh, you know, let's bring the exposure down just a little bit to help the highlights on his forehead. And in the curves, you know, I can adjust this. Maybe the red's a little bit since it's looking a little red. So I'll take that down and maybe I'll boost the blue up a little bit. And the last effect I have here is saturation. So maybe I'll bring it down a little bit to give it more of a look. And let me toggle that on and off. And real fast, you can see where we came from. And you can keep adjusting this however you want. Maybe you want it even more crushed. Let's see what that looks like. Cool, so there we go. I mean, it's a significant difference. It's really fast. All right, cool, and that's just a fast solution to fix those oversaturation problems that can kind of come up when you're contrasting or crushing your footage too much. That preset is available to download. There's a link in the description. Just put it in your After Effects presets folder. Uh, if you have a question, leave a comment, send a message. Got more tutorials coming up. Subscribe if you want to see them. And we'll see you guys next time. Cool. So it's really slowing down towards the end there, which is nice. Kind of eases into it a little bit more. All right. Cool. So we're almost there. We're doing good.